Hey everybody, Major Time here with the Warbrain and our special guest, Mr. Gifford. What's up? Hi. All right, today we'll be reviewing Green Lantern: Rise of the Manhunters. Better late than never. It's for our one, one special fan that requested it. Just for you. It was me. <laughs> it was you. <laughs> All right, uh, we'll start off with the story. Basically, you're Hell Jordan. You recently just got the ring. And basically all hell breaks loose, of course, because you just became a Green Lantern. The Manhunters show up and start killing everyone and trying to take everyone's powers. And basically they just want to take over the world and kill everybody. And you have to stop them. So basically the gameplay is your classic beat em up you know, strong punch, light punch, mixed in with constructs, they call it, which is your powers. Basically you could pull up a baseball bat or some mines or later on your later ones are like mech suits and jets you could throw basically so it gets a little ridiculous but yeah. it's pretty fun still your powers so basically you're just like pressing x the whole time and yeah or you got to hold left trigger and hit x or hold the right yeah. trigger yeah, and for hit your x for yeah. Your powers, yeah so very simple and you could block but you really don't need to block because i think the game itself is just very easy in in general uh you could play co-op local only uh mr giver played a couple levels with me what'd you think of the gameplay it was pretty uh awesome yeah, yeah. <laughs> simple yeah uh, there's no big, I would say, bugs in this game. Nothing groundbreaking to ruin the game itself. It's just, it's a very simplistic game. It's short, 10 missions. You could get done in one sitting if you want to. If you have a co-op partner, it'll probably take you even less. I played most of the game myself, single player, like five hours. So I'm guessing you could get like four hours with a co-op partner, I'm going to say. Yeah, probably. What, did they add more guys? No, I, from what I've seen, like the couple missions we redid, it was the same amount of guys. So the game would be just easier with two people in general. Yeah, then there's only a couple different kind of enemies you see throughout the game too. So you're like sick of them after like the first two missions. I want to say there's like roughly five or six different types of enemies. And they're all like robot looking. So they're like a small one or a big one basically. And that's all you see throughout the entire game. So it's kind of like your typical movie yeah. tie-in where they yeah. just kind of rush it out there and they don't really try to throw too much into yeah. the game. They well, this just one wanna... seemed like it was at least a little bit more polished up and yeah. you know, tested and you know, yeah, stuff you know, like that. So, I mean, it actually works decently. Yeah. And They also did add a 3D game mode if you want to play in 3D on your nice 3D TVs. I didn't have one, so I couldn't have tested it. So Let's leave that up to you guys to yeah. test out your own so 3D. Enjoy the 3D. <laughs> Another thing that really bothered me in this game were basically I would call like these jumping segments. Basically you you finish killing, basically you fight waves of enemies and then you go to the next part of the level. So then after that this giant green lantern symbol appears on the floor. It's big and green, you can't miss it. You gotta go up to it and hit A. And then it goes to this repetitive cutscene where you fly and jump to the next area. And it was like, alright, first couple times I'm fine with it. But you do that the entire game. Yeah, so you're not actually running through levels, you're just... no. Going from like. I mean, occasionally you'll have to go open a door and just tap A to open the door. Yeah. Or there's a couple little puzzles throughout the game where you use like your hammer power and smash the ground and hit a switch to match some little lever up or something. Yeah. Other than that, you're going to have to hit A to just jump from one part of the game to the next. Yeah. There's so no like exploring or anything like that. So. Basically, you go from like one platform to the fight next platform, a, Fight a wave yeah. or two of enemies. Because there's always going to be like a big gap. Where you can't just like yeah. jump across, you got to use yeah. your little cutscene to there's, get to the there's next no, area. There's no walkway just to get over. Or it like seems like they purposely did that so they could load the next area. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of so, ridiculous. Well, so then they, all they have to load is that one little platform at a time, and then you fight like a couple waves of enemies, and then you just jump to the next platform and fight yeah, some more. Fight enemies. some more enemies, and, go, yeah. and that's how every level basically takes forward. Yeah, and like all the enemies, they just come in like during a cutscene too. Yeah, like, they're not. Yeah, there. no, exactly. It's not like they're coming as you're already. On the thing. It's like you start, boom, they're all there, fight them all, and then yeah. go to the next one, and that's how the whole game works. Uh, let's go over the achievements in this game. Very easy, so if you want like an easy gamer score game, this is definitely a game you want to pick up. You could basically, if you want to, start the game on the hardest difficulty. You could easily get like a full thousand throughout playing once, because you get achievements for beating the game on different difficulties, one for each mission, and one for just killing the enemies with different power-ups, and for getting all your upgrades. And that's like all your achievements for the entire game. Yeah, but there's that there's that one that you have to the last upgrade one. Which is like it's like a crap load of points. Yeah, yeah. But basically, I think you could just like replay the last level a couple times and just to get up, yeah, just to, to farm some points for farm it. Farm points, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, and, uh, like I said, the length is short. So, is this game worth sixty bucks? Definitely not. It's like no. one of those games you want to pick up in like the bargain bin, like for twenty bucks or less. Or you could just go rent it from like the Redbox or something and beat it in like a day if you want. Yeah. To. 
It's not something you need to. No, but if you a little special thing does come with is some 3D glasses that look like the Green Lantern mask. If you're really into like that collecting <laughs> standpoint or something, is it just like cardboard glasses? Like yeah, it's cardboard like the cardboard ones with, with like the little the, plastic. Yeah, with the plastic yeah. lens. Yeah. So that's one of the 3D game modes you could play. Is like the just the old school 3D. You know, like a little random yeah, crap yeah. pops out at you. And then they got the built-in TV. Did mode. you try that out? I didn't even want to. No. Bother with it. <laughs> So I think that will wrap it up. That's been Major Tom. And Warbrain. And Mr. Gifford. Uh, keep an eye out for future reviews. Uh, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and check out the ongoing series of Ninjas Are, Ninjas Are Mammals. Yes. On um, my DeviantArt account. But I just, yeah, I just put Twitter it on Facebook. Facebook yeah, so. I just put it on Facebook and Twitter. So. Hope you enjoy. <laughs>